Hey, what's up, survivors? Chuck Murray here. I just want to let you guys know real quick that the new and improved Zombie Go Boom store is finally open. So please make sure you get your products today only at zombiegoboom.com. Hey, what's up, zombie killers? Charles Fultz here. I'm here with KGB Survivalist, and today we're going to show you how to make a pair of bracers out of some old shoes. What you're going to need is a drill with a quarter-inch drill bit at least, and you're going to need some good scissors. Let's get to it. All right, so the first step, you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut the heel of the shoe right down the middle, like this. Remember, you want some decent scissors because this stuff sometimes is pretty thick. And once you got that... Cut the tongue in half? Or um, I did that on the last one. I actually just cut the tongue completely off. I'm gonna try a little different strategy this time. Okay. I'm going to cut from the corner of the inside of the tongue up at an angle just a little bit to the middle of the shoe and then I'm going to cut up straight into the middle of the toes. And then I'm going to cut about an inch or two to the left and then an inch or two to the right. Okay. And then I'm going to come back to the heel and I'm going to cut, basically cut it flat. Okay. And I'll show you why in a minute. Okay. And then, once you get to this part, you're going to take your drill. You're going to drill three holes right here. Thank you. That happens. Just be careful. Alright. This shoe shoe's got some fire left. <laughs> then you gotta drill three more holes on the other side. can use a nail or anything anything really to get through these shoes. I just want to be kind of quick about it. Okay. Doesn't have to look pretty. And then once you've got your holes drilled, you can lace it up. We can do like a time relapse. Relapse. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this may look pretty messy, but once you get to this point, you can uh, slip your arm through it. And this piece should go around your elbow, the toe should go around your elbow, and the reason I cut this off is so it would go around your uh, bone right here in your wrist. What were you gonna say? I was gonna say if you if you look at it, it's this is nice and tapered, and so if he's doing something, it's not gonna snag on the sides here. Mm -hmm. And this has a nice flush fit right there as mm -hmm. well. So you can move your wrist all around. It's not. Yeah, it looks like he's uh, took it and uh, pretty efficient and, and really really mm -hmm. practical as far as as far as I think. It's very nifty. Cause, I mean, where else are you gonna get? A piece of rubber like that and tie it to your own. Right. And, you, and you, he still has side protection as well. Mm hmm. Because this, uh, this is leather. Well, this isn't leather, but that is. <laughs> All right. Now you have a bracer made out of a shoe. Now, to illustrate how strong this is and how much protection you'll get out of this, I'm just going to do this. And it bounces right off. Can I hit you with it? I can't feel nothing. Don't hit it. Don't break my arm. Or nothing. I'm gonna do the close up as I do this. I'm gonna break Get your my arm. Fucking light. These things are some of the best bracers I've ever gotten to see. I'm gonna, I have to hit you flat. Can you turn it? Alright, here we go. Close up. I'm focusing. That was pretty hard. Did that hurt at all? I felt it, but my arm's not broken. Okay. So. 
so in actuality, you can actually use this as riot gear. Not recommended, but you could. Right. And the zombie is definitely not going to bite through this. Of course, I would, rep re you know, I would recommend some gloves or something like that. Some binding. But we'll get to that later. All right. This is KGB Survivalist. And I'm Charles Fultz. Till next time, take it easy. Whatever it is, I'll take two of it. Now, if you enjoyed this survival hack, please click right here for a playlist chock full of zombie survival hacks. Hey, what's up, survivors? Chuck Murray here. I just want to let you guys know real quick that the new and improved Zombie Go Boom store is finally open. And there are some products that you may be familiar with, like the Ivan Heads and the Executioner Swords. But there are definitely some products that you guys are not familiar with, like these dog tags with a certificate of ZGB membership plus the bracelets are back the nunchucks are back and the Kali sticks are back for some epic zombie murdering so please make sure you get your products today only at zombiegoboom.com